Before we start our tutorial video today, if you love our videos please click on like button and make sure to click on subscribe and bell icon. To receive notifications of future helpful content of automation and process control. Now let's get started. Hello everyone, in this video, we're going to go step by step through how to calibrate a boiler drum level transmitter, both cold calibration and hot calibration, and we'll also explain how the mechanical, hydraulic, offset and electronic offset are applied to ensure accurate readings under real operating conditions. This procedure applies to industrial water tube boilers, for example, a 30 ton per hour steam boiler. Understanding the system. The boiler drum has two tapping points, lower tapping, connected to the water space. Upper tapping, connected to the steam space through a condensate pot, wet leg. The differential pressure transmitter, DP transmitter, measures the pressure difference between these two points. Its output represents the actual water level in the drum. To ensure accurate readings, both impulse lines must be completely filled with water only, no air or steam. The condensate pot must be full to provide a stable hydraulic reference. The transmitter's zero and span must be properly adjusted. Cold calibration, static or ambient calibration. Cold calibration is done when the boiler is off and at ambient temperature and pressure. The goal is to ensure the transmitter output matches the visible water level in the gauge glass, 0% to 100%. Step 1, Prefill Air Purge, priming the condensate pot, as a precautionary step, before any calibration, slowly fill the drum and condensate pot until water begins to exit the top vent of the pot. This ensures that all trapped air in the pot and upper line is expelled. Close the vent once steady water flow is observed. Now both the drum and the upper line are fully filled with water, free of air. Please note that even if the boiler has been off for a long time, this step guarantees that no air pockets remain in the hydraulic system. Step 2, Venting of Impulse Lines, open the equalizing valve between the high pressure, HP, and low pressure, LP, sides of the transmitter. This prevents a sudden pressure difference during venting. Open the vent plugs on both the HP and LP impulse lines. Allow all trapped air or vapor to escape until only clear water flows steadily. Close the vent plugs once venting is complete. Close the equalizing valve and return it to its normal position, closed. Ensure both HP and LP isolation valves are fully open before starting the zero adjustment. Important, the equalizing valve should remain open only during venting to protect the transmitter diaphragm from differential pressure shock. It must be closed again before zero calibration so that the transmitter senses the actual differential pressure created by the drum level. Step 3, zero adjustment, 0% zero slowly drain the drum until water level reaches the lowest visible point in the gauge glass, this represents 0% level. Check transmitter output, it should read 4 mA to 0%. Adjust zero if necessary. Step 4, Span Adjustment, 100%, slowly fill the drum until water reaches the highest visible point in the gauge glass. Leave about 30 cm above as a safety margin, do not fill to top vent. Adjust span so the transmitter reads 20 mA, 100%. Step 5, Verification, check at mid-level, 50% of gauge glass, that transmitter reads approximately 12 mA, 50%. Minor deviations, 1%, are normal, they will be fine-tuned during hot calibration. Hot calibration, operational, live trim. When the boiler operates at normal pressure and temperature, 30 bar and 360 degrees Celsius allow the drum water level to stabilize. Compare readings, gauge glass shows 50%, transmitter shows 47%, there is a 3% deviation. Use the transmitter's output trim, offset to correct, Menu output offset adjust by plus 3% until readings match. Save the setting. And note that hot calibration compensates for density changes, thermal expansion, and other operational effects. Hydraulic, electronic offset. The condensate pot provides a built-in hydraulic offset. The upper line is always filled with water, generating a fixed pressure head. The transmitter subtracts this from the lower side automatically. Electronic offset is used to fine-tune the transmitter output under real operating conditions, after hot calibration. Hydraulic offset equals built-in mechanical adjustment. Electronic offset equals fine-tuning adjustment. Practical tips. Always open and close valve slowly to prevent pressure shocks. Keep both impulse lines fully water-filled, trapped air or vapor causes false readings. Record zero, span, and offset values after calibration. 
verify transmitter output periodically at different loads. Remember, 100% level corresponds top of the gauge glass, not the safety margin above it. If this video helped, subscribe, like, and share for more practical instrumentation and process control tips. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.